Zephyr Teams and Zephyr Enterprise provides three mechanisms for you to assess test activity progress. The first of which is via the custom report capabilities. These exist within the requirements application, the test repository, test planning, and test execution. So for instance, if you're inside the requirements application, you can select requirements and use the export capability here, or you can go to the three dots next to the folder and use export requirements here. Upon doing so, either way, you'll be presented with an option here to create an entire traceability report or a requirements only report. So if we go with the entire traceability here, we choose from the data points, which in this case include some requirements information along with the test case information, the post execution data around who executed it and when, the sprint data, the cycle information, along with the defect data as well, all in one report. You can filter this data, for instance, by the test execution progress. You can choose from the output format of Excel, HTML, PDF, and also Word. That's one mechanism for creating custom reports. These reports are available, as I said, in the test repository as well, and the test planning application and test execution. So another example is in the test planning application, we go into a sprint and use export. Again, we are presented with all of our data points here. These are custom fields and system fields presented first, then your range of filters, and then a summary or a detailed version of a report. The detailed contains the requirements connectivity or the coverage along with the Excel, HTML, PDF, and output for Word formats. The second mechanism for reporting on test activities is via the live charts. These show all of your sprints, either manual or automated, and these can also contain the semi-automated ones as well that are executed via the Zbots, our automation agent. Now, if you click on a sprint, it shows you the phases and if you click on a phase it shows you the subfolders we've created within the test planning application under the phases below the dynamically changing data table shows you your data points and you can click on these to drill down to assess some of the lower level information for instance if we click on billing we see the further subfolders and now i'd like to assess why these 14 test cases failed the 14 are shown over here on the left hand side, followed by details on the right hand side of this selected test case. So in this case, this first test case failed at step level four and two defects were raised. Now, along with assessing the test case execution progress, the reports application also provides you trend chart data. This is by status. So let's narrow in on a time period. This is showing discrete data as a function of the execution statuses system, as well as customized statuses. We can also switch to cumulative mode as well, which shows the ramp up over a period of time of your pass rate and fail rate. User activity or test activity can also be assessed using the trend chart by user. Again, we restrict our time frame here at the bottom, and then we select our users, which tell us how much testing is being done by all of the users. The cumulative mode tells us the contribution made by each of the testers towards the total executed amount. The third approach for assessing test activity progress is via the dashboards. The Zephyr dashboards have three permission models. So if I click on the plus button here, you'll see them on the right hand side. You can have a dashboard shared by the entire project team, by anyone that can log into the application, or indeed they can be private to show only the projects that you're working on, or only perhaps the release data that you're working on. And it will show you your execution backlog, your traceability information, 
with your requirements connected to test cases, execution information, and defects as well. Anything that you want to show available just for yourself. So if we go into one of these dashboards, so this dashboard shows you an example of some of the widgets available. We can assess the overall defects as part of this particular project and this release. We can observe the execution backlog by user, by priority. We can also assess by tag, or even this can be done by custom field as well. The requirement status can be viewed for this particular project and release. Execution progress per release can be shown. This particular gadget is showing you all of the sprints, manual and automated. A daily pulse is available. The overall automated test level is shown here too. Now some of these gadgets are clickable, so you can click on the November to March sprint and look at the phases underneath the sprint and click on a phase to view the subfolders. There is even a traceability gadget which shows the requirements, the connected test cases, executions and the defects. The requirements of course may come from JIRA and the defects may also be in JIRA too. You can add widgets to the dashboard by going to the plus button. This shows the library of all of the widgets available. You select a widget, so for instance the execution backlog, and then you can configure the gadget. In this case we'll select a project, a release. We can slice the data by user, by priority, by tag, by phase, and indeed by custom field as well. To reconfigure an already placed gadget, go up to the right of the gadget and use the Configure button. In addition to the native dashboards, Zephyr Enterprise and Zephyr Teams also provides a dashboard called Maestro. Now Maestro shows you build automation information, Jira data, it shows you the code repository information, the health data coming through from the likes of Sonicube and of course your testing information in one place too. Now having all of this information in one dashboard serves as a perfect way to present a DevOps oriented view of your release pipeline. There is also along with a project view a product view as well. This shows you again your project, your feature which might come from Jira, your commit which might be from your source code repository, your build automation status for instance from Jenkins or Bamboo. This again can be from a quality and health visualization capability like Sonicube and this gadget at the end is coming from Zephyr to provide the test execution progress.